My name is Devin Miller. I'm a sophomore. I'm Matthew Monicum. I'm a senior. I'm Beckham Jancy. I'm a sophomore. I'm Aiden Swartzendruver. I'm a senior. And thanks for watching Disc and Deals coverage. and welcome back to Disc and Deals coverage. This is the back nine of the Mid-American Regionals. I'm Lucas Deal here with the one-time world champ, Chris Smith. Smitty, you ready to do this again, man? I'm ready to see these boys fight the wind. I'm looking at the uh, the holes and uh, there's a lot of red, Lucas, on these holes, which means a lot of overstrokes, so. Yeah, this course did not play easy on anyone in the field. The wind is ripping. We're at Champions Landing, formerly known as the Emporia Country Club for the Mid-American Regional Championship in Emporia, Kansas. Want to give a huge shout out to the presenting sponsor, Dynamic Discs. And of course, you're seeing some drone footage right now. Thank you to Ace Run Pro for that. Really appreciate it. We're going to also get to see them right now. Tell me about 10, Smitty. Hole 10, this is a new hole. I've never played this hole. I've seen it played a couple times as DDO, just tight gap shot, and then hopefully you get to the middle. Hole 10 is 585 feet, comes in as the eighth easiest hole, par four, averaging 4.07. All, yeah, all depending on if you get out of that initial gap. 100% and looking at this, um, Hessen one back, back on the tee. Looks pretty good. He's holding the follow through. He likes Didn't it. Didn't quite see the disc. Yeah, so it, it got hit by a tree, but he's somewhere there in the middle. And then Matt's going to try to take something over stable and just get out left. If you're not going to throw the straight shot, just getting out left is good as well. And he didn't quite get left, or maybe he did. I don't know where that ended up. I guess we'll have to see on the next shot. It's going to be pretty exciting to see what Eric does with this property now that they have full rain up on the, the grounds. I'm wondering if we'll see more, more holes like this and less out in the open. Yeah. It, it must be fun to look at that from just a whole new perspective. Oh, he nicked the tree there. Kicked right, and I think he stayed right. Yeah, right's, right's bad. That's the last place you want to be. Yeah, for sure. And Sam? He's going to throw it hard. Skipped, kicked, and then it is also right. So they're going to be pretty snookered here. Yeah, they're going to be working, that's for sure. Better just chip it out. Yep. So he just chipped it out. You really want to get either through those trees or around to the the left side of them so you have an opening. After Owen shot, that's going to be pretty tricky. Adam went flex. He caught it on the left side, and that stays in bounds. Wow. Heck yeah, that'll give them a much easier up and down than what they were going to have from the first one. Oh, for sure. Devin? Yeah, you can just, uh, these guys are just a little bit farther left, and this is just so much easier. Apparently not easy enough. Yep, so. You're right, they do come together and talk strategy a little bit. That's That's a cool aspect of this format. Yeah, I really, really enjoy it. And that's a good shot there. And wow, luckily they talked or that would not have been good. It's really high for Sam. And look at the roll off the tree. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All Take the way down the trunk. Exactly. Exactly. Wow. 
Why a little wide, looking for the skip, and that's going to stay wide. All right, Adam looking to put this home for a par. Should be able to clean this up. Yep, got it. And around this time, I think the Heston ladies finished up their round, and they came, all four of them, and watched um, the men play. And Birdie there for Heston. I, think, I thought it was pretty cool. You'll see them. Um, they just all brought chairs and were sitting in unison. I thought it was pretty awesome oh, support. Cool. All right, tell me about that is yeah. Cool. Tell me about fun. hole eleven here. Hole eleven, par three, three hundred ninety-five feet. Um, comes in as the sixth hardest hole. Uh, three ninety-five is no slouch up this little hill and tight gap, man. These guys are gonna have to put a move on it to uh, get a putt. Yeah, and this one's gonna end up going to the the long pin. Um, some of the whole previews are a little wrong because it's to the FPO, um, but I'm still in stuff from Ace Run, so appreciate you anyway. Devin, a little high here. Gonna leak out as long as he stays in bounds. There is a line over there that is OB, and I think he stayed safe. Yeah, it's going to be a, a tall ask to get a, a bird look at this one today, I think. Yeah. Same shape there as Devin's. So they're going to take one of the two. They're basically in the same spot. Oh, gosh, that flipped immediately on Adam. He's happy about it. <laughs> He hasn't thrown that disc very well anytime he's tried. No. Yeah, he actually <laughs> there's some he has some conversations. I wish I actually had him mic'd up. He was absolutely hilarious the way he talked to that disc. <laughs> All right, and he's up there. Kind of a bad cut roll there at the end. Should have some pitch up opportunities here. Sam taking yep, no time. Put Ooh. it under the pin and get on to the next one. You can still you can still see the leaves just blowing. Wyatt's hat about cut to come off. He had to <laughs> reposition it. <laughs> those K State boys need to tighten those hats down a little bit. <laughs> All right, and back. Oh, no. Went a little wide. So Matt's going to have to put this close. Matt's MVP so far. Matt's our man. And there it is again. Yeah, he's, nice uh, and easy. he's doing work. They better up that boy's scholarship. <laughs> got it yeah his dad is the president of the school oh the really of, did you know that yeah i did not know that so he doesn't even need a scholarship he's in for free <laughs> exactly <laughs> 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 big putt by adam and by Devin. yep those were not easy great putts. we're moving into hole 12 Hole 12. They better get this one. This is one of our two that have green for the scoring. Hole 12 comes in at 404 feet. Par 3, averaging 2.86. You can see why. Just not a lot in the way. Just a little bit of low hang down here you got to avoid. And make sure you got that disc turning right. Yep, and I think this was in a tailwind as well. So, oh, yeah. of course, it's going to stable out some things, but... You can really put a move on some of these discs with yeah, that tailwind. Feast, feast on it with a understable disc and just pop it hard. And then back, the lefty play. He trusted it out wide. That's nice. Maybe a little too overstable. He's there, though. 
Got a bit of a look, yeah. Let's see what Matt can do here. Oh. That just kept moving. Look at that thing. Yeah, so that's going to be deep at the pin. They'll probably use Bex. And Sam goes... going to have to. Oh, wow. He tried to go wide with the Anheuser and almost hit those guys and never came <laughs> back. <laughs> he was, he was out of, those guys are like a, how is there a disc over here <laughs> that's a couple that he's tried to crush so hard and left him out left much power as he yeah. has he could throw a mid-range or a, maybe even a putter with this much tailwind right at it yeah he he uh he throws so far oh but wyatt makes the correction and parks it wow here we go that was a sweet oh. drive a good bid there. Now Devin's going to think about this. He's waiting for that wind. You can see it. Might be waiting a while. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he can't wait anymore. His time's up. Yeah. All right. He's just never or the birdie. He was going to make it. Now, that he doesn't win. play around, boy. It's when tough he's ready, to be confident when when he walks up to that putt, he just throws that sucker in there. He does. He really yeah. is quick. All right, K-State cards the birdie. They're going to take a one-stroke advantage over Heston. And we're going to move into a pretty tough hole 13. Yeah, you are wrong as can be, my friend. Hole 13 comes in as the easiest hole on the course. Par 4, 397 feet, averaging 3.52. Uh, that's why they played it as a 4. Like, as you can see here, even in the footage, like, it's usually played as a 3. But yeah, you mm -hmm. put change that to a four, it's going to change some things. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Especially because this is in a headwind and clearing. If you go to the right side, clearing, that's very tough in this wind. Adam's taking it out left. And he's somewhere in the tree. <laughs> he shrugs it off like, okay. He doesn't care. He's not throwing from there. <laughs> All right, and here we go. Owen, full green light. Be a little too hyzered. Clipped something, and yeah, not even close. Yeah. Looks like the same type of style here for Heston. Aiden going to go out left. bit better kept it out of the trees yeah a little better for sure and now Devin's asking which one should i do i want to do this and so they picked one for him he goes halo destroyer looks like it was too stable directly after the shot he said i wanted the other one <laughs> and i just think it's funny that he even asked then <laughs> he should have picked the other one <laughs> <laughs> All right, and Beck. Beck. Woo! Put it close. Yeah, he did. That was a great shot. It gives our man Matt the green light. Yeah, the wind straightened that one up. And this is K-State's lie, and it's not pretty. It is not. It is shady, though. <laughs> it is. <laughs> <laughs> and 
And that one's straightened out too. That one's well left. Outside circle. See if white can make a correction here. Good angle. Skipped. Uh, they're still going to be outside, but at least they're looking at it. No obstructions. Outside look for sure. Oh, and that one floated on Adam. The headwind said, see ya. That's the so first Owen. one he's had get away from him. Yep. And Real Owen with a on this one. pretty shaky layup. But they're close enough that it shouldn't matter. Devin, face mask. Now, this is for Birdie. Yeah. And a stroke on K-State if Aiden can make this. He's staring at it. <laughs> a lot of pressure with your three buddies counting on you. Ooh. Big putt by Aiden. They'll card the bird. There we go. Wyatt taking par, and they're knotted up again at six under. Going into so like a see. very lengthy headwind hole 14. Oh, my gosh. 894 feet comes in as the fourth hardest hole, 4.46. Man, in a headwind, this hole is brutal. I just try to throw it out, gap, and get somewhere left center of this golf fairway. And, and it, it's at least playing up, to the short up. position right here by this tree. So it's actually not going to push all the way back here towards this one. Mm -hmm. so so it's just past something. the first tree. The original exactly. hole. Yep. Before we had to make everything way longer. Yeah. Oh. Uh, and Bex just rose on him, hit the tree branch, and he kind of fell straight down. So Matt's got to put something in play here for the guys. Oh, uh, it's nice. It's got a little bit of flip. Ender was well zoomed in there. Yeah, he's he's down the fairway quite a ways. Yeah, that's great. Especially in a headwind like this, that's about all you can really ask for. All right, Let's see what Wyatt can do. Uh, he's waiting on the wind. You can just see his shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I got news for him. He's going to have to come back tomorrow if he wants to play it in calm weather. Yeah. Uh, that one flipped. It's going to cut roll. And that's rolling. That is rolling. She gone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is <laughs> two holes away now. Man alive. <laughs> Put some pressure here on Sam. Put something in play. Yeah, just throw it smooth. Throw it smooth, put her in play. Oh, and Sam nails it. Wow. All right, so here's Devin. Can they get to the pin from here? I don't think so. Not definitely not in heaven. I wouldn't think. Yeah, just no. pitch it up to the front of that green and chip it over. Yeah, that's it. That's what they both did. Take that big Aiden's tree out of play on your up shot. Yep. And right, now watch this shot here by Adam. This is a blast. Hits the rock wall. Now watch this disc. Rolling, rolling, rolling after the rock wall. Rose all the way OB on the it left side. Just got that wind under it. Just kept pushing it. 
That was crazy. <laughs> the nastiest roll I've ever seen. Owen kind of doing what you were talking about. Just play it wide. Take the tree out of play. Just something that they can pitch up. Remember when Eagle threw this one in from the middle of the fairway? <laughs> yeah. Remember when Simon rolled all the way to where they're at in one? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. A little wide there. Matt needs to put it a little closer. It. Our guy, Matt. You knew. You knew. Yeah, dude. He might get to drive the van home. Looks... <laughs> <laughs> that's, I think that's Larry's job. You don't take Larry's job away. <laughs> Larry's taking nice photos, too. If somebody could do it, it'd be mad. If Larry didn't like it, he'd get fired. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Devin in for par. And honestly, all you can really ask for in today's wind, par par, move it yeah, into par is fine. hole fifteen. This should, yeah, hole fifteen should play too hard, right? Well, it comes in as the sixth easiest hole, still playing over par, four hundred thirty-nine feet. Plays a gigantic island down here. You have to. Uh, you have to come to rest on the island or you go to the drop zone, I do believe. Sometimes they've had different rules. If you leak out left, you can go last in bounds. But most generally, it's where those two street, those two sidewalks meet is where your uh, drop zone is. Um, yep. Throw it out and to the right, to the let it hyzer back in. And they're going to the long pin. Um, I think the drone went to the shorty. Oh. He got past the sidewalk, so he's good. Yeah, it shouldn't be Still an issue low. getting it on that island. No, no. I felt bad because he waited for me and then threw it into the ground. I kind of blame myself for being slow. Devin had a good shot here, though. Yeah, put a pretty good move on yeah. it, he? Just, oh. Oh, did he just do, like, a leprechaun kick? <laughs> I don't know if you saw that, but that was oh, athleticism at its finest. Adam, and this is when he talks to his disc the most. Uh, after this shot, he said he's never throwing that disc again. Uh, so I know you talked about it earlier, Smitty. Um, but yeah, he basically said, see you later. I don't even know if he picked it up after that. Well, he goes to K-State, so he's probably a slow learner. <laughs> oh man you're doing that i'm sorry guys i invited him here <laughs> all right owen keeps it in bounds again huge tailwind here they have got to get this thing in the air and it just killed them both Yeah, it's Sam? tough, man. But oh, that was a beautiful bid. Just stayed right on him. Now Wyatt has a shot. Oh, that looked good too. He thought it was in. Couple of good. You can bids. see the. Yeah, and you can see the Heston ladies there. <laughs> in the background, pretty cool. Yeah, that is fun. <laughs> all right smitty it's time. time here we go Island oh hole. man well no surprise here she's coming in ranked as the uh number one hardest hole on the course what an iconic hole man just thing of beauty um these guys should have tailwind though so they should be able to go no. for it if they want no, no oh yeah headwind last it was, hole was, it was tail yeah right yeah, I was thinking two holes. So, yeah. yeah this one's going to be direct head. You can lay up to the right side if you like. 
it's not the easiest layup in the world and it definitely takes all the fun out of the hole. But when you're knotted up with your opponent, you, you may want to think about laying up to save a stroke. That's going to start us off here. Looking pretty tasty. It's looking good, isn't it? Wow. Yeah. Heck yeah. So does his partner even throw? No, Beck said, no, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a, uh, I don't blame him. Here's Sam. Plenty of power. Sam has plenty of power to get there. It's just if he has the control. <sighs> yeah, if that just turned on him. So, Wyatt doing the play you were talking about, Smitty. After Sam goes OB, Wyatt taking a little fun out of the hole, but knowing that they're on the green already, says, hey, we need to ensure a par. And he has a really great layup shot. And they're on the green, but they don't have an easy putt. That's for sure. No, a death putt and, if I've ever seen one. Yeah, and this layup play, I mean, this is no easy task getting this on the green either. And they executed. Great shot there by Owen. Yeah, really nice. Adam. A little low skip set in the water. And then here is, I think he's just outside circle. Completely deaf putt, but a tailwind. So it should drop the disc. And bang! Open. And he nails it. Yes. What a putt. Heck yeah, what a way to take a take the lead. <laughs> Hugging it out. <laughs> yeah, I love the hugs. The hugs are, are, are so nice. And then we have to take a look at that one again, Smitty. Disc and yeah. deals double take. This was awesome commitment. And Absolutely pure. Beck wanted him to look back because Beck was ready to just chest bump him. <laughs> Some high fives given. And then, of course, the big old hug here at the end. Yeah, <laughs> they're feeling good now. And let's go into hole 17 here, Smitty. This is a toughie, too. Yes, it is. Hole 17, 745 feet, par four, comes in as the fifth hardest hole. Uh, these guys are just going to try to get as absolutely far up this fairway as they can and hopefully maybe get beyond this point where they can get a clean shot at the uh, the green. They don't want to have to pull off that Paul McBeth low burner. Yeah. So. And it's going to go to the long pin here as well, which is probably another 80 feet past that one. Yeah, this hole is a monster. Aiden knocked down there. So Devin needs to get a little further. Throwing a sheriff. It's a nice tree kick. And ends up tailing OB. Oh, boy. All right. Adam has a new disc to flick. <laughs> Hopefully this one's a little more stable than the rest. Went into the ground. He is not happy. Nope. Took his hat off. So now Owen gotta put something in play and get a little bit further down the fairway because Adam's in a tough spot. Tailwind all day here. And oh no, that's instant hyzer. And that has no chance. That's no OB. chance. Yeah, this hole is demanding. You have to have 
you have to be on top of your tee shot to even want to sniff a bird. And oh my God, Sam goes crazy. Huge shot, well in bounds, and he's the same height as the basket. So he's pin high, just way off on the left-hand side, which is mm -hmm. absolutely incredible from their location. Should be a routine par. Now, Wyatt's going to play the safer play, just in case they didn't quite know where Sam's shot went because it was so far. So he's going to try to pitch out here and get a backdoor look. And he's safe as well. All right, so this is from Aiden's drive. Beck just puts it out. Makes it easy. Hydra's in play, huh? Yep. And so now they're talking about it. Since Beck's in play with the with the tail, which is essentially a right to left for this shot that Matt's about to take. He's thinking about going all the way over OB and trying to get by the the women's basket. Do it. Here we go. But it could move on it. It's cleared it. And rolls past the women's basket. Fantastic shot there by Matt. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Big shot at a big time. Up in here is Adam with a Pretty sweet approach there. Yeah. Leaves that within 10. Heck yeah, that'll par. And Owen going for the big spike hyzer. From this direction, it's going to be a right to left wind. You better put that baby wide. And he did not. So this is going to be a couple counties away. <laughs> <laughs> That was pretty OB, but Adam was parked, so it wasn't that big of a deal. Aiden here, just looking to get somewhere close. Solidify their par. Smart to go to this forehand oh. and fight the wind. Yeah, and he went for it. And now Devin's going to have to maybe not Oof. be as aggressive. Yep, and so Devin just pitched up, and now we should have some some tap-ins for pars for both schools. Giving Hessen the one-stick lead going into 18. Yep. And unfortunately, on 18, we're not going to get to see the amazing drive as far as the whole preview because it's going to be from the ladies' pin. Um, but there's a huge water carry on 18 and so smitty tell me about that even though we're going to look from the ladies pad yeah hole 18 comes in 691 feet par four third hardest hole on the course from the men's pa pad you have to clear at least 330 of water i would mm -hmm. say with a slight yep. anheuser finish to get you into the perfect landing zone um somebody may try to get over to the ladies tee where they could attack on their second shot but that's not going to be an easy task in this this amount of wind. So, you know, par's great on this hole today. Yep. And this is playing direct headwind. So yeah. that 330 is even tougher today. Yeah, it's tough. Plus you, you have some flags on the right hand side. So you have to be in the middle there. I can't remember if the I think the sidewalk also plays OB. Over to the left. Yeah. And Matt 100%. puts it in the perfect spot. Direct center. That's all you can ask for. Man, he's and a Beck's, great day. Yeah, and Beck decides he's going to throw this one. Oh. That puts a pretty good move on it. He cleared the water. He's just going to be there on that go. right side OB. Um, so his shot is actually OB, even though it's 
um, dry. And here's Sammy. You know he is going to He's going to put a moving on it. Ooh. No doubter. Well up the fairway. Oh, yeah. That's a good spot to be out there left. And Wyatt. What he can do. That stayed on Heiser. It didn't give him the flip that he wanted. Oh, he cleared the water and then barely rolled back in at the end. But easy <laughs> pickup for him. He didn't lose the disc. Didn't lose his toy. Oh, Aiden found an early tree. So now they're talking about this one for a while. I think at this point, um, because they were talking about it for so long, they know that this is important. They were looking at scores. Mm -hmm. They need to get up and down here to be just outside of top 10. I think you just throw it, that tree in the middle and try to miss it left or right. Yeah, and that's what he attempted to do, but it leaked on him a little bit, so... They can still get up and down, but that was that was tough. Now, Owen here, they need to also get up and down. Oh, he hits the tree and rolls, and that stays OB. Oh, my. Adam, cut rolls. Oh, no. That cut rolled all the way into the water. He's OB right, water. And now K-State battling just to get up and down to save a bogey. To an elevated pin in the wind. Yep. On a slope. It's a pretty good shot there by Wyatt. Uh, it's got to... He basically pinned him there. So that was a great shot That's there. good. Yeah, it was. All right. Beck. Leaking out a little bit. That's going to be a tester. Heston knows they need this. Let's see what Matt can do. Matt with his zone. Trying to get a little closer. He goes OB. He may have been running that. Maybe he yeah, thought Beck yeah. was close enough. Definitely I guess that's not as that far. Sucker. Yeah, that wasn't as far as I thought. And here it is for par. Stay seven down. Aiden makes it, and we're yes. going to see where that puts them overall. K-State, unfortunately, going to card the bogey, move them to five under. I don't actually know if they ended up getting a bid or not, or if they already had one, and that's something to keep in mind here. So after all was said and done, Emporia State wins this thing. 26 under on the tournament. Um, Heston, you can see there in the bottom left, they finished seven down. They're going to be tied for 11th. There were enough teams ahead of them that already had bids that Heston was able to grab a bid to Nationals. Oh, so they wow. will head to Nationals. Uh, like I said, their goal was top 10, but they didn't know exactly who had bids and who didn't. So congratulations, Heston. I, again, I don't know if Kansas State got the bid or if they already had one, but regardless... Huge shout out to tournament director, Matt, who did a lot of these this year and really appreciate him doing that. Mid-American Regional Championship in the book, Smitty. And what a day it was. These guys are ready to get home and get out of the wind. I guarantee you that. <laughs> no doubt. Again, huge shout out to Ace Run Pro for the drone footage and letting us use that. Thank you to all of you for staying tuned watching if you haven't please subscribe to the channel please like the video share it even always trying to get more subscribers see you on the next one take care bye bye now